Welcome to Create Wealth Through Franchising. I'm your host, Kim Daly. Whether you're a CEO, a military vet, a real estate investor, or simply in career transition and ready to take ownership of your future, with each episode, you're going to learn valuable insights and hear inspiring stories from within the franchise industry. On that note, my guest stories are their own. And as a franchise consultant, I do not make personal brand endorsements or earnings claims, but I do educate, motivate, and inspire dreams. Now, on to the show. Welcome back to Kim Daily TV, our special guest for you today. His name is Ryan Day. He and his mother have started a franchise called Home Clean Heroes, which for my followers, this brand is not new to you. You've heard other stories from inside the Home Clean Heroes franchise brand. But Ryan's here to share his story of building a business alongside his mom. Ryan, welcome to the studio of Kim Daily TV. Hey, Kim. Thanks so much for having me on. I am so excited. All the way from Huntsville, Alabama. So we love to start with your why. So you and your mom building a business together. Let's back up and talk about what was happening in your life and her life when you guys came to the brilliant idea that you should own a business together. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So I'll I'll start with myself. So I've been a realtor for two years now and coming out of the corporate world into something even like that was a huge leap of faith for me. Okay. It was a big, big change. I moved out of my house, actually back in with my mother. I took a risk and it really did pay off. I was so fortunate to be able to learn skills like sales and better communication, working with people closer, that kind of thing. It really gave me a lot of life kind of lessons, I guess you could say, that I could apply later on. But it taught me what it be, what it was like to be very self-sufficient. I mean, you have to, you're essentially running your own business as a real estate agent. I mean, how you, you know, what hours you work, how hard you work, who you work with, these are all choices that you're not normally making at a nine to five job. And so I did that for, you know, two, well, a year and a half at that point. And It was phenomenal, but I was burning out quickly uh, from a standpoint of, you know, it's a grind. You're always chasing the next check. You know, you're working weekends. It's hard to spend time with your family. And and I'm, I'm not married. I don't have children, but I just got engaged recently. So, you know, that's coming up in the near future. And all I could think to myself was I can't see myself sustaining this kind of a grind while you know, trying to provide for my family and spend time with my family. And so I was looking for something else to do, but I didn't want to give up real estate. I really do enjoy the process and I like what it has to offer, but I didn't want that to be the only thing I did. So I wanted something working a little more autonomously and, in in, you know, kind of in the background for me that I could kind of just check in on and manage, but not just work myself to, to, essentially get that that revenue stream, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I decided I wanted to start a business that complemented real estate. That way I could still sell homes and work with clients, but also have a business that would help and you know build and work with real estate to, to build each other up. So that being said, I started looking into franchising opportunities because I had no earthly idea how to start a business from the ground up. And I said, well, you know, there's this beautiful thing called franchising where you can essentially pay to have the knowledge and and the experience that all these other different franchisees have had in a corporate location have already worked through. You know, you essentially skip the initial headaches of the startup. It takes a lot of the guesswork out for for the marketing, for you know, essentially mapping out a way forward. Right. And so I started looking into these opportunities, such as like handyman work and residential and commercial painting. But cleaning has a special place in my heart because I was so busy with real estate. I had been working with other cleaning companies because I really love a clean home. I just didn't have the time to do it. And there were a lot of headaches with different companies for different reasons. It's like, you know, either the quality was bad or it wasn't consistent or they had to reschedule constantly on me. So I knew looking at it that I could do this better. Like I can be better and I can route it out better, use technology to help me move forward. I'm a younger guy. And so I really wanted to be able to use what I know to push a business forward. And so I vetted out different franchise opportunities, but cleaning kept coming back to me. 
and especially once I started talking with the Home Clean Heroes team about, you know, how they operate, how they market, their marketing's phenomenal. I mean, they had me grabbed just from the initial vetting process. I saw their logos. I was seeing, you know, I know this sounds probably kind of silly, but I was seeing their animations on their videos they were showing me. And all I could think to myself was if I'm getting grabbed by their marketing right now, just from vetting a franchise out, what are potential customers going to think when they stack us against other companies in my area? That was kind of the thing that kept going through my mind. And so as I was in this process of vetting, my mother started hearing me and having these conversations and started asking me questions about this. Oh, well, what's making you want to do this? And what are your thoughts on this? And my mother's retired or was retired at the time. So she worked for the federal government for almost 40 years and helped put me through college. I was very thankful for that. So when I graduated, she decided to take a break as she has earned very, very thoroughly. <laughs> Good job, Mom. <laughs> and so she decided to take that break. But after about two years, she was really, I don't want to say getting bored. That wasn't necessarily the term to use, I guess. But she could feel that she wasn't using a lot of her mind that she was still capable of yeah. using. She was an IT specialist and an HR specialist. And so she had a very sharp mind, attention to detail, very, very organized. So she was very capable of being able to do a lot more than she was doing at the time of retired. And now I'm not saying that she shouldn't have taken a break. I think she definitely deserved one, but she knew she still had a young mind so she could still put that to work. And so as I discussed this opportunity with her, she really, really thought we could tackle this together because the best attributes she has are the worst I have. Yeah, that's so I good. am more the extroverted type. I can talk with people. I'll get on a stage in front of a thousand people and not skip a beat. Like I just don't mind stuff like that, but I have a hard time with attention to detail and organization can be challenging for me sometimes. I have ADD. My attention span will dart all over the place sometimes. And so <laughs> she's all those things that I'm not. She has a phenomenal attention to detail. She's very organized. She can really break down a thought process a little bit easier than I have. Like I'll have these large ideas on how to do stuff like, oh, we should try X, Y, Z things. And she's the sound mind that says, you know what? If we did that though, what would that look like? Like functionality wise, practicality wise, could we actually pull something like that off? And so because we realize that we really have that mindset, you know, that I'm everything she is and she's everything that I am, the pieces that work best together, we really decided that we could do this together and that we would really thrive doing it together. So that's kind of how we ended up doing this together as, a, as essentially a joint venture. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if you're loving this episode, please do me a quick favor and leave me a five-star rating and a short review. Your feedback fuels my growth and rankings and shows others that this podcast is valuable. Now, back to the show. Absolutely phenomenal. So we're going to call, that was like an amazing introduction. I wanted to be like, yes, you're in the daily grind for my followers who are <laughs> sick of me. Yeah. But you're in that daily grind. And I love the beginning when you say I went from corporate America to real estate. And it was like, you know, learning sales and all these new skills. I, I love it because I love to say that owning a business is the greatest playground for personal personal development. You will learn more about yourself, right? Absolutely. Through owning a business than in any other endeavor you ever do in your life. And you know what, Ryan? To the extent that you pursue that personal and professional growth, then you will have the financial reward, right? The money comes as a result of the service that you're able to offer, but the more you become, the more you can offer. And I love the complementary skill sets between you being being the extroverted and the one kind of maybe like more driving the business, your mom being the HR person. Look, a cleaning company at its core is an HR company. So yes. this is an amazing story that I'm so happy to be sharing with my followers. Okay, so you launched your business when? So we opened our doors July 1st. Of 2023? Yes, like four months ago. Yeah. Okay, amazing. At the time of this recording, it's October of 2023. So you're a newbie in the business. Amazing. Yeah, we sure are. We're brand new to the scene. 
And I have a feeling that you've had a fairly fast start out of the gate, given your ambitious personality. (laughs) Absolutely. Yeah, we hit the ground running pretty hard. I mean, it's only been four months and we're going into our second team now, onboarding new people and and getting rock and rolling. So we've definitely seen a lot of growth really quickly. And I'm very fortunate for that. Amazing. I love the parent organization of Buzz Franchise Brands. I love Kevin Wilson. I love everything that Home Clean Heroes offers. I love the spin to you know, the heroes of our communities, the frontline people, doctors, police, right? First responders, yes. First responders, that's the word I was looking for, that you you give back to the community. So for you, though, as you were carefully vetting different types of franchises, let's go back to that moment. Because I think a lot of the people who listen to my show, it's two groups, Ryan, right? It's people who are business owners just looking to be inspired, right? What's that golden nugget that's going to change my life? Sure. But then I think there's also a lot of people who are coming to the idea of owning a franchise and they only think franchising is Jimmy John's and Chick-fil-A until they come to create wealth through franchising. And then they're like, wow, she doesn't even talk about food and retail, right? Like, right. so this becomes exciting. So let's talk a little bit about the characteristics of the cleaning business. I I love how you've already set it up, comparing it to the very transactional nature of real estate. This is more consistent, steady, predictable income. But what are some of the other characteristics that led you to the Home Clean Heroes team even? I would say communication is a really big aspect of what makes business business, right? And it's not even from the personal aspect of when you meet a potential customer or client in real estate, that face-to-face, what that conversation leads to and, and how that goes, it's not even about that. It's about transparency through the entirety of the transaction, you know, through the lifetime of your relationship with this new customer, how much do you guys actually interact with one another? And so for Home Clean Heroes, what they really strive on is the fact that we want the customer to know when the team is on their way. We want them to know what, you know, an ETA of when the team is getting there, who our lead is. We have the same, you know, the same two people go out there every time. So they're very familiar with the cleaners. We train our specialists to really make sure that they're building a connection with the customers. You know, it's not just a transaction. You know, you're entering someone's personal space. So it's really important that you understand, you know, what are their dog's names? What are their kids' names? Did one just go off to college? How are they doing? Like have a conversation when you arrive. And we pad for that kind of timing. You know, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, you guys have to be done in this exact amount of time. And if you're not, you're fired kind of thing, right? I really do encourage them to take the extra time to build that rapport with the customer because it's important. You're in their space, in their home, and they need to be able to trust you. Amazing. Amazing. So what about like being a real estate agent where your busiest times are going to probably be nights and weekends to a cleaning company where you're busy Monday through Friday. Was that part of the criteria that you were looking at as well? Well, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I didn't really think that through as far as the timing when I first started this endeavor. It was kind of like, you know, oh, I think this will be great for my future. I'm willing to put the time, energy, and effort into it. And then when the application of it all came, I was like, wow, I really don't have a day off. (laughs) It uh, it, Because you're doing real estate on the weekend still? Correct. Yeah. So it's, you know, through the week when I'm in the office working alongside Barbara to ensure that, you know, routing is done correctly, payroll's being ran, the bills are getting done while also working with the team to ensure, you know, there's not any problems in the field that if a customer is upset that I can speak with them and try and figure out what the problem is, that kind of thing. At the end of the day, usually I'll tell you what a day to day looks like. I'll work through all those kinds of things. And then generally around three to four o'clock, I'll take another two to three hours to prospect potential clients, make calls and research with current clients I have to see what kind of homes are out there. And if we can go see some, then I'll try to book those showings for Saturday and Sunday. So it's kind of like I'll do all the research up front and work work for my clients to, to determine the best course of action. And then we apply that to the weekend time frame. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. So what I love is that you bought a business that's marketing driven, but you hear him, listeners, you hear him talking about the sales aspect, like every single business, whether it has a brick and mortar location or it's run through a marketing plan is a sales organization, right? Where it's owning a business is about serving customers. So identifying who your customer is and, and having a pure, genuine desire 
desire to get to know your customers because people want to do business with people that they get to know, like, and trust. So that's genius what you have your cleaners do when they go in. I mean, I've been a customer of the maids. We don't have home clean heroes Mm -hmm. here, but we have a huge, our The Maids franchisee runs a massive business. There's about 30 cars in his parking lot at night, right? Wow. Those little yellow and blue cars. And I've been a customer for 12 years. I mean, I always joke with everybody. If I had started a cleaning company 21 years ago, I would not be working today, right? Because because of the residual nature, I mean, I'm the ideal customer. They used to come into my house every week when my kids were smaller. But now that I have teenagers and they're not around as much, it's every other week. But you just think about how much money every two weeks they bill my credit card, 160 bucks or whatever it is, Yeah. right? And that's just residual money over and over and over. And I love those girls. They are absolutely heroes in my life right, yeah. <laughs> because they're doing a job that single busy mom with two full-time companies doesn't want to do, even when she has the time. That's not how I want to invest that time. So they are heroes in your life. But I mean, going back to my point, I was wondering if like the characteristic of this being Monday through Friday, and I mean, what you're doing on the weekends, you're not going to do forever because keeping customers is easier than finding new customers. And eventually you're going to build that brand name where the customers are going to be able to seek and find you, especially from referrals once you have a pretty significant customer base. I think of all the people I've referred to my cleaning people and it's a lot of people because right. I'm just happy and they just do a good job. Yeah. So what are you looking forward to as you mature in this business? Do you think that you will always be involved in real estate with this business or do you see yourself really just sort of being able to build and scale that repeat revenue that allows you to have this as your singular focus and even over time, maybe become a semi absentee owner? Yeah, I think the end goal is always to, you know, you don't necessarily want to buy a job, right? Right. You know, especially as a franchisee, I mean, there's there's upfront costs that come along with that. Yes, you save time, headache and hassle to a degree, but that comes with money. And so when you pay in, you know, you don't necessarily want to buy another job. You know, the whole point, in my opinion, of building a business is to build something that works for you. You know what I mean? Um, It takes time to get there. You definitely have to put the right pieces in place. And there's a lot of learning that comes along with that as well, which obviously you'll learn along the way. The more you grow, the more things are going to change. But I think the biggest part of this whole process is being comfortable, being uncomfortable. I'm sure a lot of people have actually heard that before, but it is painfully accurate. I mean, (laughs) if you're really, really comfortable in what you're doing, you're probably not growing because you're not learning anything new. Learning comes with screwing up from time to time. Like it just happens. Like we're human, right? Right. So when you learn and you grow like that, there's going to be headaches that come along with it. But if you think about it from a standpoint of it's not a failure, it's not a screw up, you're just learning. You know, once something happens, don't do it again. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like apply that to the next situation where you encounter somewhat of the same issue and the things you learned previously, you'll know how to, you know, kind of attempt to to make the situation better. So, you know, it's definitely a little bit of a challenge from a standpoint of learning in that kind of a way. I don't want to say baptized by fire per se, but I mean, (laughs) why not? (laughs) Yeah, you just have to you just have to do everything kind of on your own where you figure things out. But with the franchise, too, comes a great corporate team, at least with Home Clean Heroes anyway, comes a great corporate team that that is standing there ready to help you alongside and get you through those tough times. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if you're ready to begin your own journey to find the perfect franchise, please email me right now at inquire at kimdaily.tv. My services are totally free for you. That's inquire at kimdaily.tv. Now back to the show. So many people believe that a franchise is foolproof or, you know, build it and they will come and then they get in there and they realize, oh my gosh, I was so wrong. Their expectations were so far off. Nobody's going to do this for you. And I love that you're able to admit that like you're going to learn more by failing forward in your business. There's a great book written by actually, did you ever see the Broadway musical Hamilton? I The guy that, did you see it? Oh. I have, but my fiance absolutely is obsessed. 
obsessed with Hamilton. Okay. It's so funny you say that. So she should audible his book. So he wrote a book, the lead actor who plays Aaron Burr in Hamilton. Mm-hmm. He wrote a book called Failing Forward. And it's all about how everybody in his life told him he was crazy because he was not taking all of these acting jobs because he was working with this, like the guy that wrote Hamilton uh, on the side. And he wasn't even getting paid to do it. But he he just knew that this project one day was going to pay off. And he, he took, he didn't take so many acting jobs for all this time because he was putting in free hours to this Hamilton thing, right? And then just talked about all the negative naysayers and just failing forward over and over and over and how many times they had to rewrite and redo and rewrite and redo and failing forward until they got it to what we all know and love today as Hamilton. And I think in owning a business, it's quite the same thing. I talk about my story on my YouTube channel ad nauseum, you know, that I spent the first eight years not doing what you just said. I just kept making the same mistakes over and over and over and over again, which is the definition of insanity, right? Thinking that right. something different is going to be created by doing the same thing mm-hmm. instead of conscientiously or intentionally thinking about why is the customer saying no? Or how could I have set that up better? Or how could I prospect for a better person? It wasn't until my ninth year of business that I really started to say, all right, there's got to be a better way to build a business and intentionally started thinking through. And it only took me 12 months to grow my business three and a half times. I did over 300% more revenue in one year, which was my ninth year of business by conscientiously thinking through my failures. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't take a long time to turn your business around, your life around once you become intentional and fail forward. So I love everything that you just said thank you for that little coaching moment ryan day <laughs> that was really good. I, I, hey if there's anything any kind of advice i can give i mean i've only been at it for four months but hey take it take it how you will i'm here for it yeah it's really good do you look forward to one day having this team of people like being an employer in your community that employs x number of people is that part of your attraction to this business model as well I'll say that working alongside a lot of individuals who are being hired as a cleaning specialist, full transparency, a lot of them had a rough track of life. You know what I mean? They, they've sure. been through a lot of things. They they may have some, um, you know, some some issues that, that they're working through, have worked through, are going to work through, whatever it may be. And it's got me... It's really got me to the point where I've come to understand people a lot better than I did previously. Prior to this, I haven't really walked that closely in life to a lot of people that are at this level, right? And that's not to say that they should be looked down upon for for being a cleaning specialist. That is not at all what I'm saying. I think the work they do is incredible, but it's really important to understand that a lot of these people have gone through some stuff, have gone through some really rough patches in life. And so it's really, really important to me that they understand that the things they do here, the work they provide is really, really valuable. They're out there changing people's lives. They're giving time back to families to spend more time with each other and to focus on growing their businesses and, you know, making their lives more important and keeping the people that are special to them even closer. So I remind them of that all the time, that the work they do is incredible. It's important. And the hard work they do is important. You know, when they've done a really tough day and they've gone to multiple cleans that some have been rougher than others, you know, if they had a customer that was overly picky about certain things. When they endure a day like that, I recognize them for that. I understand that because in my past for corporate America, my first jobs, you know what I mean? I have very rarely gotten the accolades that I thought I deserved. It's not even about more money. It's not about raises. It's not about prizes, winning anything. It's about recognition. I've never, I won't say never, I have rarely had a manager, a boss, a supervisor of any kind say, you know, just take the time in the middle of the day say, hey, I understand what you're doing right now is a little challenging, but you're killing it. You're doing a great job. And I just really wanted you to know that. I think it makes all the difference in the world. Somebody could be having a really tough day, like I said, going through something really rough. And to have somebody truly understand and recognize them for the incredible work they're doing, I think is just an amazing overall experience with a manager and your, you know, your employees. 
you bring tears to my eyes because that's a game changer for those people. And you're, it's so true. It's not about a raise all the time. It's about recognition. It's about being patted on the back, right? We're just humans doing business with humans, right? So that's that was so beautifully stated. I literally have tears in my eyes. <laughs> Ryan, I appreciate you being my special guest today and sharing your yet small journey into franchise ownership. But I think a journey that's going to lead you to amazing, amazing places. Just I can tell because of your personality, your your ambitious, the tone of your voice, just the way that you speak. I think great and where your heart is at with your employees. I think great things are coming down the pike for you. Thank you for being our special guest here today on Kim Daily TV. Thanks so much, Kim. I really appreciate you having me. And if there's ever anything I can do to help you out, let me know. Okay. And then if any viewers have any questions, I'm happy to to answer some of those too. That's amazing. So for those who are ready to begin your journey into Home Clean Heroes or just to figure out what would be the right type of franchise for you, you know that I'm here to be your franchise consultant. Please follow the email on the screen right now or reach directly out to me at inquire at kimdaily.tv. That's inquire at kimdaily.tv. And until next time, my name is Kim Daly and I want to be your daily coach. You can find more content just like this on my YouTube channel at kimdaily.tv. And if you're inspired to take the next step to explore franchises matched to you, please email me right now at inquire at kimdaily.tv. That's inquire at kimdaily.tv. 